That's a long day. That's all I know. But it was uh, it was a fun day. You know, it was uh, definitely a day of um, ups and downs and and runs and refocusing. And I thought uh, um, I thought uh, when we need it, players stepped up and played very well today. Uh, just a great effort for a team that uh, you know goes up against a top 20 opponent in the morning and comes back against a conference champion and NCAA, another NCAA team. And uh, just really uh, happy to get our players in there. Um, that second game, I think we played 41 players. I'm pretty sure no one's ever played 41 players in a game, Division One, And, uh, you know, we have a large roster and we're proud that we were able to get done what we wanted to, and that was provide playing opportunities for our young players and, and we did that today so we were, we were uh, thrilled with how it went Why do you think Haley Majorano was so effective? Uh, Haley's just a very good player and uh, you know what it, it, it worked out for you, you know you, you, you go you shut off the other side with Kayla Trainer. it opens up the field they go into a shut off and a backer and it just opened it up for her and uh, you know, that's why she's playing in that spot because, uh, you know, if those opportunities come, she can finish it. And I think you saw a glimpse, uh, you know, in that second game today of, of her potential. And I think she relaxed, uh, you know, the first game. I think she was uh, pushing a little bit. She played well, but had a few turnovers, four shots. And, you know, we talked to her in between games and said, just let the game come to you a little bit. And I thought she played much better in, uh, in the second game. And really started to feel real comfortable. Mm -hmm. What about her skill set allows her to play behind the net so effectively? She's just uh, a solid player. Good left, right, uh, great stick skills, uh, and just a you know a player that has good abilities and talent, and uh, has practiced in that position, played that position for a long time, uh, played it in Maryland. Now she has the opportunity to do it here. Uh, the game was fairly close um, at the end of the first half, 10 to 7, and then you guys kind of broke it open. How big of how big of an effect did Riley Donahue have on that? I thought Riley played outstanding. You know, it, I think it was just a matter of, you know, we jumped out early. I thought played a good first 10 10 minutes, and then, you know, probably a bit of a mental letdown, you know, and and just not staying focused, thinking, oh, this is going to be. Uh, you know, not you know, they didn't come to play as much as we thought, and sure enough, they did, and they showed up. and I, I give Kanisha's credit for playing hard in that first half, not giving up. And you know, I think it took us to a chance to refocus. And Riley was a big part. You know, they again they're shutting off Kayla Trainer on that side, opening up the lefty, and Riley had those opportunities. And in the second half, she did a much better job of seeing the field, seeing those opportunities, and and uh, making some great plays and putting the ball in the net when she had a chance. Did you see any effects of uh, this doubleheader on, in, in the Canisius game? Did you think your players were physically or mentally tired at all? I, I think we saw a bit more of a letdown in that first half, you know, where, where we started strong and then we had a bit of a lull, which, which I would hope that if we were fresh, you, we'd, we'd keep that killer instinct going and keep running right through the entire first half. But... You know, we saw uh, some errors on both ends of the field that, that uh, you know, if we were a little fresher, maybe we wouldn't have made them. But, uh, you know, that's that's a great chance of, of doing what we did today it was a opportunity to test us mentally and see how tough we were. And I thought we rallied and responded in the second half and came out um, and put the game away and got everybody in there and, and uh, finished the game. It seemed like... Um a lot of them clears, and when you bring the ball up, the ball just kind of found Riley Donahue. Was that planned, or was it did it just happen? Uh, again, when you're you're out pressing on uh, Kayla Trainer, it's going to open up the field, and especially on that left side where she's playing. And you go to help, and it leaves Riley open. And uh, like I said, she did a better job in the second half of understanding that that was going to happen. It was there in the first half, and I think she was a little tentative in stepping into the space. And, uh, you know, that second half, she just, you know, gave it 100% and saw it a little bit better and recognized it. And then, like I said, made plays, assists, goals. Did a nice job. At the end of the first half, um, Haley had the ball behind the net, and you called a timeout. What was kind of the goal of the timeout play? 
<laughs> it was just to, to settle down, get the ball around, and, uh, you know, we didn't execute what we were doing, and, and we, we talked about it, and, you know, she's we're on the same page now, so we're in good shape for that. Well, I think, you know, this our lineup looks the way it does because of what we did in the fall. Uh, you know, the players we evaluate in the fall, the what we saw and, and what we did in the preseason against the, the US national team, against our alumni. And uh, you know, this is the way the way we look right now. It could change, you know, but I think we're pretty happy with uh, the lineup the way it is. And uh, obviously, we may tweak here or there, make some adjustments. But um, you know, we'll get more opportunity next week uh, to play a couple more games. For the players, how are you all feeling after a long day like this? Um, it was good. I think we just we love to compete, and it was a good opportunity to play multiple games and just working on our uh, mental preparation for games. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of fun out there to play. Uh, two really good teams. I think we had a lot of fun, and I think the adrenaline kicked in, so I guess we weren't really thinking about how tough those two games are going to be. But we'll definitely be a little sore tomorrow. <laughs> I thought it was a good experience to play two games at first, just to get, um, I don't know, get our adrenaline running. And um, we have a lot of depth on the teams, too, so I think that helps mm -hmm. a lot, too. For Riley and Haley, um, what do you or how excited were you guys to play your first game in the Dome as part of the state? <laughs> yeah, uh, it was awesome. I can't explain the feeling the very first minute, and even like after, even the second game, I was still like really excited to be here. Yeah, the atmosphere was awesome. I mean, you just get chills walking out into the field, and you know, with all your teammates behind you, and it was just awesome. It was just you know awesome to have a second opportunity to play at such a great school. And Riley, in the second half, you really came out, you know, um, turned your game on and got, got a bunch of points. What what changed? What was working well in the second half that wasn't in the first half? Uh, I don't know. I think we had just, like, realized that we were getting a little tired and we wanted to get back at it because we knew that we could keep going and stuff. We knew we could rest the next day and everything. So I think that just, like, it just clicked at that point just to keep going and to push through it. And how does it feel to have such a big impact in just your second game here? I think that it was my team that helped me too because like, they all moved the ball really well and just we worked really well together. Um, Haley, what do you think you did so well to get top side on the crease and from behind that? I think just like working well with the teammates. Um, you know, everyone was moving, everyone was on the same page, so I think I was just you know, able to be in the right spot at the right time. Mm -hmm. For Kayla, how do you think you involved yourself in the offense, knowing that Kenish just kind of um, tried to shut you off? Yeah, um, I think, again, just my teammates, you know, if they're able to score, it's not really a big deal. So, um, you know, we were scoring really well and easily, so just continue to let them dominate. Coach, you played Kenish again in a week. What did you notice in this game that you're going to bring into the next game? Uh, I think, uh, you know, we're going to watch the film. We'll, we'll come out and uh, try to sharpen, I think, some of the things we're doing and make sure we key on certain tendencies on some of their players. Uh, I know, uh, you know, uh, Tory Quinn had a big game against us, so maybe we do make an adjustment there. And uh, on the draws, I think, uh, you know, in the first half, I think we needed to you know, get a little bit sharper, boxing out, make some adjustments on the draw, and, uh, you know, come back and, and be fresh and to, to play them the next time. So we'll make a few tweaks here. There's some adjustments, but I think uh, other than that, it's just a matter of limiting a few mistakes and and uh, trying to execute a little better, and we should be in good shape. For Haley, you threw a few fakes at both uh, at the goalies on one-on-ones um, in the Denver game and against Kanisha. Was there anything you saw or just kind of go with the flow of the game? Well, I mean, Denver has a great goalie, an all-American goalie, so I knew that I had to um, fake her, fake high, shoot low. We have to definitely move the goalie in her because she's really good. Um, it's kind of just a habit now. I'm definitely used to uh, freshman, sophomore year shoot high to high. Mm. So definitely 
got I worked on that, and you know, now I just always have to throw in a fake. Kayla, can you just talk a little bit about the way Riley played? Do you think there was any any one specific area that she uh, excelled in today? Yeah, I think. Um, you know, she was ready to play. You know, we came in. Some of us were, like, playing a little dull, and she came in ready to go. Um, she's an awesome player. I've been saying that for a long time, and just uh, she played great today, so we're really happy. You know, she's on our team, and she's here, and uh, she did awesome. And for all of you, what did you guys do uh, during the break in between the double headers? <laughs> we had a team meeting. We ate, and uh, we watched. There's a game in between, so we watched a little bit of that. And in the second game, were you, you know, feeling effects of that doubleheader, feeling gassed? Uh, I don't know. I, no, I don't think so. I think it's just, like, focus on one game at a time. And um, I think we're feeling the effects now. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, well, obviously you and Alyssa have been quite the tandem in the last two years. And does it feel any weird, any bit weird now just to be on the field and kind of not have to there? Yeah, I mean, Alyssa's an irreplaceable player, and, you know, she was awesome to play with, and we miss her. But, you know, it's a different team, and we have a different offense. So, um, new year, and we're just, you know, I think it's just taking it one game at a time with this new team, and I think uh, it's going really well, so. When you guys were watching the men's game, were you talking about your game that just happened or talking about your game coming up, or were you just trying to get your mind off of it for a little bit? Probably a combo of yeah, both, probably I guess. Combo. I think we were, uh, a lot of us were laid back during that time, just trying to regroup and not trying to think about overthinking the last game, just trying to get a fresh start for the next. So I think we enjoyed watching the guys' game during the break. Uh, for, for Coach Gate, uh, you know, I know coming into the season, we talked a lot about, you know, moving Taylor Kopalowski to the midfield. Um, so just what did you think of, of her performance there today? I thought she played great today. I, th I thought both um, our midfield had a good, uh, solid day today. And I was happy with, uh, you know, the first two lines. They got in there and played most of the time. And, and then even the, the third third line got in and did a great job. I, You know, I think for us to be effective this year, we gotta we got to be a threat from the midfield and the attack. And uh, you looked at our stats, our attack is most of the scoring. But... Uh, I think it's a big field that really, you know, makes that possible. And I think, uh, you know, it's it's a team effort. And I think they did a great job. They play a lot of D, pressure D. Um, you got to be athletic. And then they get down and they uh, play hard on the offensive end. So real happy with the way uh, she played. Taylor was awesome. And hustle, ground balls, draw controls, and uh, had a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.